Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes, you will see a short example of the type of Solid Edge training material available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the surfacing training and covers the use of the trim surface command. The trim surface command will allow us to define both internal and external boundaries on a surface. A surface may be trimmed using any sketch or curved geometry that lies on the surface or by using other surfaces or planes that intersect the surface. For this reason, the trim surface command is often used in conjunction with some of the other commands we've already looked at in other sessions. For example, we may use the project command to project a sketch onto a surface. The projected geometry could then be used to trim the surface. Alternatively, we may use the extend surface command to extend another surface so that it intersects the surface we're trying to trim. When using a curve to trim the surface, if the curve is open, it does not have to intersect the edges of the surface. When the trim operation is performed, it will automatically be extended to the edges of the surface. This is done as a linear extension. To show the trim surface command, we'll open example 24. Here we have a couple of different surfaces and sketches. To start with, we'll use the project command and project this sketch onto this surface. Now we can use the projected geometry to trim the surface. We'll pick the trim command, choose an appropriate select option, then select the surface we wish to trim and hit accept. We then need to select the geometry being used to trim the surface. Again we have various select options available. We'll set it to chain, then identify the projected geometry and hit accept. Finally, we need to decide on which side of the geometry the trim operation is performed. We wish to remove the internal geometry, so we need to point the arrow towards the inside. The trim operation is then performed. Next, we'll project this other sketch down onto the surface in the same way as before. This time, notice that the sketch is not closed and the resulting projected geometry does not intersect the edges of the surface. This does not matter. We can use this geometry to trim the surface in the same way as before. This time notice how the trim line gets extended to the edges of the surface as we discussed earlier. Next we wish to use this vertical surface as the trim tool However, it does not currently intersect our surface. As such, we'll first extend it in the manner we looked at earlier in this session. Once this is done, we can use the newly extended surface as our trim tool as shown. We can also trim the vertical surface with our curved surface. 